astronomers have mapped an important sequence of events that shaped our galaxy 10 billion years ago. Astronomers used the European Space Agency's Gaia Space Telescope to understand how our galaxy cannibalized another galaxy in the early days of the universe. We know our galaxy is made of two separate sets of stars, but exactly how or when they came together was a mystery. But now, using the Gaia telescope, astronomers were able to take more precise measurements of the position, brightness and distance of roughly 1 million stars. One of the sets is dominated by blue stars and their motion told astronomers they are the remnants of a dwarf galaxy that merged with the Milky Way. The other group is made of red stars. Both groups live in the Milky Way's halo, a spherical region that surrounds the entire galaxy. Data from Gaia determined that the two populations of stars are identical in age, with each being no younger than 10 billion years old and that all of these stars are older than the ones in the Milky Way's disk. The new research also suggests that while one set of older stars are predominantly hydrogen and helium, the other one contains larger amounts of heavier elements. So the story goes like this. Roughly 10 billion years ago, the ancient Milky Way and a smaller galaxy called Gaia Enceladus slammed into each other and over the course of millions of years, the Milky Way consumed the dwarf galaxy. About 4 billion years later, a spurt of stars and gas from that activity settled to form the thin disk that runs through the center of the Milky Way.